Welcome back, I think, to part five or six. Doesn't matter. This one's special. This is going to be just a special video for you guys. We're going to do a batch file on our beautiful water area. Okay, so we're going to do this not linear, but okay. I usually put my mask, uh, my feathering about 50% of the picture. So here we go. What I'm going to do is create this long. started learning how to do this. Actually, I should say, I started learning how to do it a lot better. You kind of want to capture that water. So take your time, get it right. This is going to be the thing that makes this just explode. Kind of pull it out some more. I want that red to hit right in that water area. Got about where I want it. Very sensitive program. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to start out with is exposure. So now pay attention. Just the water. I'll bring it up a little bit. I'm going to auto correct it. For that, it's actually greenish color, huh? This is going to be my auto correct for all of them, guys. So, we'll bring some dehazing. Boy, there's a lot of green in the sky, ain't there? I'm going to add a little black. Some shadows. Wrong way. And you're going to watch your histamine up here. Instagram. Okay, it's too far up, so I'm gonna bring it down a little bit. The guy called me a hacker. I said, I don't know how to hack nothing. Do some clarity, some more dehaze, and I bring the temperature all the way down. Now remember, this is for all your videos, right? So we get that water. There you go, more intense dark. I want it to be shinier. I'm gonna add some white to it. You'd be surprised what white could do. Psychedelic water. I use the clarity all the way down. See how it blurs it? Almost acts a little bit like the um, like the noise removal. I kind of like it though. Uh, see what happens when I sharpen it? You think, oh, I want to sharpen it. But I see the boats. Well, you can see the boats now. It's funny how the blue water and the yellow and the clouds is making that green effect. So here you go, guys. There you go. Right there. Okay, that's all I want to touch on it. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to save it, remember? We're going to save it and do a batch on it. Save it. Um, in that file. And we want it to affect all the water, and all the pictures are the same. So what I'm going to have to do, before I go to batch process is um, I'm going to come in here and take out um, like your bigger pictures right here
See the ones that are cut off right there? These are cut off. I'm just going to put these back on my desktop. I'll come back and get them. And I just thought about that. You know, we did some uh, cropping. So I'm looking for all the tops to be the same size, right? This is what takes time. Because you start doing crazy stuff, you'll be fixing it later. So everything's pretty much the same size, right? I think I got them all. Okay, now we're going to go back to our, our deal here. Now we just saved that, right? Uh, so what we're going to do... With that we save, we're going to batch process it, which I taught you. First thing you do, you make a folder. I'm going to put them right back in the same folder, guys, right? The one I've been using. A new folder. Now, what it's going to ask me... Thank you, Dawn. My wife just brought me breakfast. She loves me. Okay, so let's go get that folder. The new folder, right? It's okay, it's gonna put them all in there. See how they all have the copy, and you can tell when there's duplicates. There's a few duplicates, not much. Okay, go to metas. I'm gonna export that. Now, you wanna replace all those? Yes. I'm going to rename them, replace them, ignore them. I want to replace them all. So now you don't have double folders, double files. Now, if you mess up, then you still have the original pictures, remember? So don't ever worry about that. We'll let this go to its. Okay, so here we go. <clears throat> Here we go, this is the folder we just did. Um, down here I'm getting a lot of the speckles. And so I might redo those in a minute. Um, but I could easily redo that whole patch from where we left off here. And I might just do that because I think I can get away with maybe... These three might always have speckles. But some of these don't have this many speckles. So. I'm going to probably redo those, so I'll be back. So this is uh, video number 8. I think I said it was number 7, but just look at the titles. It'll say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You know. Anyways, there's a lot more pieces on this than we're seeing. I'm going to get ready to create a uh, new video. So here we go. We're at Fluidity. We're going to use this because it's a really good tool. Very high quality. And I'm going to load my pictures, folks, from what we just did from uh, Acapulco. So I have a little quick folder. And these are, here we go. These are our pictures. And they're in order. According to how I caught them. A 16, I'm going to get 32 pictures. There's 24. Okay. I'm taking these because I'm going to do some blending. Let's go from there, the smallest one. Now I'm going to load the music, and I think the biggest I could go for full music would be um, eight or nine minutes, more like eight minutes. So I'm going to look for something. 